Hi, just me. Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you're okay. I hope that you have been enjoying your weekend. I hope that you have uh, been doing your classworks. Remember that I'm checking everybody's classwork in school, so you have to be patient. I'm gonna check them. I'm gonna have them ready to give you your cumulative soon, so you don't have to worry. Okay. Um, I hope that you're okay. I hope that you are um, getting ready for classes and getting ready to um, to, to you for your exams. Your exams are on Friday. You start your exams, if I'm not correct. So we are going to have a class uh, for grammar today. I'm going to give you a little brief on what the exam is going to look like uh, for, your, uh, for your grammar. And then we're going to see you tomorrow in your live class to check on your cumulatives and the questions. And then Thursday, I'm going to give you the hours so you can get ready and start. Um, sorry. Practicing and studying for your Friday exam. And then on Friday, you start your exams. So let's uh, start today uh, by doing um, a small, um, wait, come on, come on, wait, there it goes. Um, a small review on what the topics of exam are gonna be. Let's write the date. So in here we're going to write, yep, today is, Tuesday, uh, December, Merry Christmas, 8, 2020. So for a review, we are going to explore, remember the formulas that we, um, that we need. For an example, for the present tense, we are going to uh, do sentences of the present tense that we have done. Something that I recommend you is that check very clearly um, on the she, he, and it. Because I keep checking classworks and you constantly forget to add S to the verbs on those. So you don't say she go or she clean, you say she goes, she cleans, Esteban eats, the cat drinks, the lion roars. But all of those verbs need S. If you don't write S on the verb as much as it's an exam, I'm not taking it as a small mistake. It's a mistake and the sentence is incorrect, even if you're just skipping the S. There's no effort in here. You have to master this skill for the exam. So if you forget to add S to the, to the verb in the present tense, your sentence is gonna be incorrect. So for an example, if I ask you in your exam, um, I give you a sentence uh, in, the fo in, the, in the next uh, paragraph, uh, select if it's correct or incorrect. And if I write, Selena, Sing very nicely. And I give you two options if I tell you. So what is the option gonna be? Correct or incorrect? So if you tell me that the sentence is correct, then you are going to lose that point because the correct answer would be incorrect. Because in here we are missing the S. I'm telling you, she, he, and it includes names. She is a Juana, she is a Stella, she is uh, a Maria, it is a cat, it is a chair, he is a Juan, is a Esteban, is a boy, is an Adrian. So you have to remember that when we're using the female name, the male name, or a thing or an animal name, or she, he, if you don't add S, then the, the, the sentence is going to be incorrect. This would have been the correct. Selena sings very nicely. But as much as it wasn't like that, then the sentence is incorrect. That's good. That's going to be one of the examples, okay, of your, of your grammar exam. If we are doing, for an example, past tense, past tense, um, remember that in the past tense, we have uh, multiple kinds of verbs. In here, we are talking about some things that happened in the past, that happened 
uh, and they are gone, they're not coming back, they're not going to happen again. So we have to add D or ED to them. But also we have a set of irregular verbs that, um, that they are not written with an ED or a D in the case of the sentences. So for an example, in this case, what we are going to do is if I give you a sentence that says, um, my family has, no, have dinner at 7 p.m., okay? They have dinner at 7 p.m. And I tell you, take this sentence into the past form by selecting the correct form of the verb. Or if I tell you, write the correct past form of the verb and I give you a line and you have to read the instruction because I'm just asking for the verb. I'm telling you to change the verb. You have to read. If I tell you change the sentence, I'm going to give you a longer sentence. But if I just tell you write in the line the correct past form of the verb of the action. Remember that in the platform you have to write everything in lowercase, in small letters, in minuscula because if you write in capital then that's you're gonna be your mistake and when you tell me mister i have it right but it's just that i wrote it in, in capital well i told you to not write it in capital so you don't have it right you have it incorrect i'm not gonna give you that point you didn't follow the instruction it's written in every question don't write in capital write everything in cursive and don't write periods because if you write periods or capital, the platform is not gonna accept your answer and I'm not gonna accept your answer. Because I'm telling you today, don't write in capital and don't write periods. So if I tell you, write in the line the correct form of the past, uh, of the, the, the correct past form of the verb. Now, what is the past form of the verb have? And if you write have, the, Mm, it's incorrect because that's not the correct form. The correct form is had. No periods, no capital because then the platform gets confused. But what if instead of that I give you a list of the verbs and I tell you. You have four options A, B, C and D. Select the correct form, the correct past form of the verb. Then you have to choose between have, has, hast, or had. Then you have to circle the correct form, or in the case of the platform, you're selected. So the correct form would be this, because the past form of have is an irregular verb. So you have to select the past form. This is just another example of what your exam is going to look like. And last but not least, we have to include the present continuous and the future tense and the, pu and the future form of the sentences. Now, these two change a little. In the case of the future tense, the only thing that you have to remember to add is will. I eat enchiladas. I will eat enchiladas. So future tense is very non-complicated because the only thing that you have to add is will to every sentence. But the present continuous gives you a challenge because in the present continuous, you have to use the verb to be and amaris in order to make your sentences. For an example, if I tell you, um, in, the, in the following line, I give you the option to, uh, I give you a sentence in future. We will um, sit with, no, we'll, we will uh, see it with her. We will see it with her, okay? And I tell you, I'll give you four options and you have to select the correct form of the sentence in present continuous. And I give you A. We will 
seeing it. B. We are seeing. C. We are seeing it with hair. Sorry. With hair or D. None of the above. Okay? Then what are you going to choose? Sorry if I'm covering the light. I just wanted to be different in the video. Okay. So for an example, I'm telling you, give me the correct present continuous form. We will seeing it is not correct. So it's not this. We are seeing it's, it's a correct form, but it's not the, co the complete sentence. So obviously cannot be this. None of the above is not because you have to find an answer. Now, sometimes I give you this and it's correct. But in this case, we are seeing it with her is correct because remember that in the present continuous, we use am, um, are, and is. You don't have to forget that, that in the present continuous, we use am, um, are, is. So we are seeing it with her. This would be the correct present continuous form of this present tense sentence. So as you can see in your exam, you will be challenged to change sentences from one tense to the other. Not only write them, but select what are the correct forms of them. Or to find a mistake, I could have said the following sentence is in present continuous. Find the mistake. And then I give you four options. As you can see, this is not in present continuous. So you, I can write, it's not correct. The sentence is in future. There is no mistake, all of the above. And as much as this sentence is in future, you should have selected the sentence is in future. So as you can see, the exam is not gonna be specifically about memorizing, but about you trying to understand the sentences and use it in every, in every tense and move them from one tense to the other. So I hope that you're studying. I hope that you're taking advantage of the time that I have given you to study for your next classes. Um, I posted a picture with all the topics for exam. There are, video, there are dates of every video that you have to watch to study for the exams. And I just hope that you study. You don't have to send me anything anymore because classwork number five was the last of the quarter. I'll see you Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. And um, we'll see how the grades are. We'll see how the class works are. And I just hope that you are okay. I am, I am uh, very excited for these exams. And I hope that you succeed a lot. Bye, guys. Remember, study for your exams. Bye, guys.